How does it let you hope you're well? My worst fear on Bitcoin has finally come true. So before I tell you exactly what I mean by that, uh, let me just give you some context. As you can see here, the price of Bitcoin now has dropped almost 50% from its highs. So that was the highs it made back in uh, the summer in June 2019, just near 14,000. And you can see since then, it's pretty much, we're pretty much down 50%. As a matter of fact, just recently it hit the lows there of near 6,500. Just near 6,500 recently we hit that level. Now, I don't know about you, but this drop in the price of Bitcoin here, uh, I think it's made a lot of people feel a bit like this. Oh. Oh. Yeah, exactly. Now, I want to explain to you now why I think my worst fear on Bitcoin has finally come true. You see, guys, two years ago, almost two years ago now, I posted a video. In fact, let me show you that video right here. Okay, so this is that video that I posted in December of 2017 before the bubble burst, as you can see right there, posted on 8th of December 2017. And this is what I showed in that video. You see, guys, in December of 2017, as I'm sure you remember, the price of Bitcoin was surging above 15,000, getting close to 20,000. And we warned, we said at the time, as you can see in that video, said, look, this Bitcoin bubble is about to burst. We had a signal back then, a major danger signal that we could have another major crash like we saw in 2013 and 2014 when the price of Bitcoin dropped significantly back then. And yes, guys, as I'm sure you can imagine, nobody was listening to our warnings back then. I know you were listening, uh, but of course, most people were not. So as I'm sure you know, the rest is history. The price of Bitcoin pretty much peaked just near 20,000 and then dropped significantly. So what happened was a few months afterwards, in April of 2018, I posted another video, which as you can see here, and in that video, I said why the Bitcoin crash is a good thing. So why would the Bitcoin crash be a good thing? Well, here's what I said in that video. I said, look, OK, so we've had its drop in the price of Bitcoin. But actually, let me just go forward a little bit. Actually, it might be a good thing because it will teach less informed people an important lesson on risk. And it might actually help people to learn to respect risk. Now, I got to tell you guys, when I look back at this video, I have to laugh. <laughs> because I'm thinking now, what the heck was I smoking? Because I hate to say it, guys, but I was wrong. Do you think anybody actually learned the important lessons on risk back in 2018 and 2017? No! No! Aaron, you're being strange. No! I doubt it very much. Because, guys, the very same people who bought Bitcoin back near the highs of 20000 near nineteen twenty thousand dollars and they sat through while Bitcoin prices just crashed going lower and lower. They're the same people or the same kind of people essentially who bought Bitcoin near the dangerous levels this year in 2019 as the price of Bitcoin skyrocketed from 8000 all the way to near 14000 It peaked just near 13800 despite all the warnings that we had back then. For example, we can see here LT Acceleration Extreme showed to us that the price of Bitcoin was an extreme acceleration and that we could potentially be extremely overbought here. But as I'm sure you know, few people were listening, even back then. Do you know what people were saying to us back then, despite all the warnings? Here's a few comments. This is one comment uh, that people were posting back then. In your dreams only, we're going to see 8K ever again. Come on, man. Basically, you're saying everything is possible. Bulls will not be shaken out in the beginning of a bull market. In other words, guys, back at the time when Bitcoin was going higher and higher, getting close to 13,000, the FOMO was so strong. You know, the greed, uh, the complete lunacy was so strong that people were just disregarding anything to the contrary. And we were getting these overly bullish kind of comments. Here's another comment for you from the time. This is also a very bullish comment uh, from near the time. Nothing bearish will happen. This is it. Nothing bearish will happen. So no 8,500, but instead 17,000. You got to be kidding me. Guys, if there's one thing we've learned is this. Always pay attention to what people are saying on social media. The more everybody the more the majority of people are getting extremely bullish and extremely overconfident about something, the more likely it is that they're on the wrong side of the market. That is something we've learned consistently by looking at the price action and by looking at the sentiment of the market. And guys, that is not all. As I'm sure you remember, back when Bitcoin was still over 10,000, you know, was when it was trading near 10, 11,000, we were giving warnings to people that we should be patient and wait for a pullback, for a drop in the price of Bitcoin. In fact, as you remember, I did a webinar, an interview 
with uh, Charlie Burton, my good friend and trader Charlie Burton. And here's what we said in that video way back in July, August. It might help that market. When a market start has gone up like it has done, you get into this euphoric sort of mode again, and it would be nice for it to settle down and then build a platform for maybe another leg higher, for even from there. A bit like we've been talking about earlier on, sometimes as a trader, you just have to let the market come to you. You have to pick your level and then you wait for the market to come to you. Now, sometimes the market won't come yeah. to you, but you can't chase it. So for me at the moment, the way that I would be looking at that, with the way that I look at the market is to say, well, if it just goes from here, fine because I do see it currently in a bull market. Yeah, crazy. absolutely, I agree. There's, there's one thing I've learned is, uh, and I, actually you mentioned this many times in the past, I, I totally agree with this, just don't chase the market, let the market come to you, let the price come to you. And it's, it's frustrating, don't get me wrong here, I think everyone who's watching this video will agree with this, that it is very frustrating when the market doesn't pull back, doesn't come to the levels you want, it just keeps going, it is extremely frustrating. I don't think that it's important to be, be disciplined and stick to rules because if you're just going to be doing impulse buys impulse trades or whatever you know you're, dead. you're going to be all over the place it's going to be much more risky down the line would you agree with that absolutely 100 percent. because you see it even on a micro level as well i even i deal with a lot of day yeah. traders and and you see it on a even on an intraday basis the markets go flying up and then you'll see day traders all around the world trying to get in on that or, or panicking because they're not in on it and so it's the same it's the same type of emotion, whether it's small time frames like day trades or those bigger picture uh, time frames like we're talking about with Bitcoin. But you can't if you do just chase the markets, then you're putting yourself and your wealth at risk because sometimes it might work out for you. But if you get the wrong price level, when it starts coming back down, how do you get out? And that's where a lot of people yeah. go wrong. because They don't know how to get out. So, guys, you heard there me and Charlie were warning extremely against the idea of getting into Bitcoin at those ridiculously high prices because we said, look, very likely we could see a pullback, a drop in the price of Bitcoin, which as you can see, we pretty much have had. And, you know, again, anybody who bought Bitcoin at those extreme highs essentially has sat through a 50% drop in the price of Bitcoin because, again, most people do not have an exit strategy. Most people do not have a methodology or any discipline on risk control. Now, I don't want to finish this video on a negative note. You see, guys, there is some good news at the end of this. Here's the good news. If you happen to be one of those people who bought Bitcoin at the FOMO stages of, for example, 13,000 here or near 12,000, or let's say you are one of those people who bought Bitcoin near 19, 20,000 in the year 2017. Here's the good news. You see, guys, as long as you learn from your mistakes, this is a great opportunity because almost every fantastic trader in the world, for example, take the book Market Wizards. If you haven't read that book, make sure you read it because every fantastic trader in that book has at some point made the same mistakes that you probably have, all right? The difference is they learn from their mistakes. And guys, I'm sure you probably know, I've said this before, I myself made the same mistake back in the year 2000. In the year 2000, many of us, including me, bought technology stocks or dot-com stocks right near the peak of that bubble. I mean, at the time, I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know anything about charts or about analysis or about trading. So in the year 2000, I essentially got in with almost everybody else getting into this frenzy, into this bubble at the worst possible time. And yes, guys, I kept those technology stocks. I held on to them all the way through until the majority of those technology stocks, those dot-com stocks became worthless. All right, guys. So that was a huge learning lesson for me and for a lot of people. The key thing is this, guys. We have to learn from those mistakes. If we don't learn from these mistakes of the past, we can never progress. So again, going back to the book Market Wizards, the key thing is, guys, that all the great traders in that book, like Paul Tudor Jones, for example, they all made the same mistakes, but they learned from those mistakes. So guys, my point simply is this. If you've made mistakes with Bitcoin, that's a good thing because that means you've learned an important lesson about risk that most people have never learned or probably will never learn. So use it as an opportunity to learn and progress further. All right, guys, thanks very much indeed. And I'll see you guys in the next video update. Bye for now.